This is a video guide for follow-ups, specifically how to create, conduct, and manage follow-ups, and how to customize your notification settings when follow-ups are assigned. So the first question to discuss is, what is a follow-up? A follow-up is a task created within a report or inspection assigned to users to perform some action in response. For instance, if an employee is completing a vehicle inspection and identifies a problem with the tires, they can assign a follow-up to the mechanic alerting him of the issue. The mechanic is notified by the system and can take whatever action necessary to address the issue to closure. So I will start out this demo on my iScout homepage, and I'm currently signed in as Mark Wilson, and he is an employee with limited access to the system. So I'm gonna click Forms, and I'm gonna fill out uh, an observation form. And follow-ups are available on any report or inspection. It could be on any of the boilerplate forms that are built into the system, like observation reports or near-miss reports, as well as any custom forms you have built. This is just a real simple report where I can select the field office, the line of business that I'm in, and the customer I'm working for at the time of this observation. I can select an unsafe act, and maybe there were people adjusting their PPE when I arrived, and I want to make sure their supervisor or someone talks to them about it. So I can select uh, adjusting PPE, and if I click this button over on the right, next to that field, I can attach either an image with this particular field or I can add a note about my answer or the situation, but it also allows me to create a follow-up for somebody. So if I select follow-up here, I will create a follow-up for Derek Brown. And here I can explain what I need him to do for the follow-up. So I can say, please meet with your crew and discuss proper use of PPE. I can also assign a due date to the follow-up to make sure it gets completed by a certain date. For this demonstration, I'll select May 28th. And when I select close, the button is now highlighted in blue, indicating that I've either attached a file or added a note or created a follow-up. And as I complete the rest of this form, I can assign follow-ups to different employees if necessary and have multiple follow-ups within this one form. So once I have completed this form and hit submit, any employee that was assigned a follow-up will see it on their open task list. And if they have notifications enabled, they would possibly receive an alert through email and or push notification. It's worth noting that the process for creating a follow-up in a form using the mobile app is exactly the same. So now I'm going to log out from Mark Wilson and I'm going to sign in as Derek Brown. This is the person we just assigned the PPE follow-up to, and you can see it here on the bottom of Derek Brown's task list. It shows who submitted the report and which part of the report the follow-up is tied to. So if I click on the task to conduct the follow-up, I will see the section of the report the follow-up was assigned in and whatever notes or instructions that were left for me. So if I'm able to complete this follow-up, I can select resolved, and then type a message in the field. I can then sign off on it if a signature is required. Uh, if I select the notifications option, anyone who is looped into this report upstream of me will receive a notification that the follow-up is resolved. I could also attach a file, perhaps a picture of an item repaired, or in this case, a photo of my crew wearing appropriate PPE. Then I click save and I'm done. Or Maybe I was alerted to this issue and have the authority to assign it to another employee to resolve. I can select reassign, then select the appropriate person, enter a message, and when I hit save, it will now create a follow-up in their open task list. But I'll go ahead and just mark it resolved and click save. And now it shows I've saved the follow-up. And if I go back to my home page, the follow-up task is gone. So that's the process of completing a follow-up. And now let's look at viewing the status of follow-ups and responses. I can go to forms, and then I'll go to the responses of the observation report we filled out. And I'll run a report of all observations submitted in the last seven days. So if I scroll down, here is the one that was just submitted by 
Mark Wilson. And you can see that there was a follow-up completed. Uh, green indicates that a uh, follow-up has been resolved. Orange indicates a follow-up that has a future due date. And red indicates an open follow-up, including any that are overdue. If I open the details of this particular report, I will see any and all follow-ups that are associated with this report and their status. There's also a history log in each report showing the original submission and any changes made to the report over time, including any follow-ups conducted. And if I go back to the response page, I can also search the system using follow-ups as a filter. I can search for all follow-ups or just ones that are still open or follow-ups that are overdue. I can then view the individual reports and see the status of follow-ups throughout the report. All follow-ups will populate in the open task list of the user it's been assigned to, but you can add email and notifications as well. Simply go to your profile and select notifications. Then next to the assigned follow-ups, you can choose if you want notifications to come to your email or mobile device or both. If you have proper permission in the system, you can also set notification settings for other employees. You would just go to their user profile. So we'll go to Mark Wilson. And I can edit his notifications here and assign the follow-up notifications to come to him from email. As an administrator, it's easy to run reports on follow-ups if you go into the Analysis tab and select the Follow-up Reports button. Then you select the filters you want and click Search. Then you simply apply the filters that you are looking for and those results will populate here. And if necessary, you can export those into a spreadsheet or PDF. So that's an overview of follow-ups in iScout. If you have questions about any other features, please check out our video guides at help.iscout.com or send us an email.